Whether it's your car windshield, your smartphone, or even your clothing, you work pretty hard to keep them dry. For years, engineers have worked to make those products as water resistant as possible, but the technology you're about to see takes it to a whole new level. David Common shows us how it works. What, what is this, David? Well, they're called super hydrophobic, and that literally means very scared of water. They've been around since about 1977, but only now are we really paying attention in part because the car industry has taken hold. Hard to believe, but the car wash could soon be a relic of the past. Nissan calls this the world's first car that'll never need a wash. Look at how water and mud just won't stick. The car maker sprayed a special coating on half the vehicle. One side gets dirty, the other doesn't. But Nissan is hardly alone. Clayton Berg helps run Nanex, a Belgian-Canadian firm selling what are called super hydrophobics. A sponge cloth and a paper towel two of probably the most absorbent materials uh, around. And the, the point is, is to show you how, well, I mean, essentially we've ruined them. They're no longer absorbent. Now they're super hydrophobic. Nanex shows off untreated fences and then treated ones. Well, mud just bounces off. Even a windshield during a storm with no wipers. Super hydrophobics don't make things waterproof so much as resistant. Liquids just slide off. Look much closer. Those are water droplets. As much as you try, they just won't sink in. But it still leaves shirts and shoes breathable. We can coat anything absorbent, even a rock, um, or shoes, or raw wood. Uh, the cleaning coat formula, we can coat anything that's non-absorbent. So car hoods, the, the deck of a boat. Between those two things, you, you can coat pretty much anything on earth with this. Clayton Berg is now trying to break this, into the market, this. one occupied by other companies peddling super hydrophobics. Super hydrophobic products have hit store shelves, and you may have started to think about how they could be used in your own home or your workplace. Well, here at the CBC, I'm just so well respected that there was a big lineup of producers to do this. And sure enough, I'm quite soaked on one side. But here, nothing. Not gone through at all. I am a little damp, though, and that producer's in trouble. The lotus leaf was long seen as the gold standard in water resistancy, but science now seems to have surpassed it. Nice to see you back all dry. A, a little bit drier now, yes. At least one half of me. That car, is that actually on the market? Not yet. And Nissan's saying that it's not going to be some standard thing you can get when you buy it. Automakers likely to put it into the aftermarket, meaning you buy the car, you can get it treated after that fact. But that would probably run you at least several hundred dollars. Wow. To some, maybe. Be worth it. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, David. Thank you. David Common. Sharks know a little something about water resistance. It's why they're on the cover of the latest journal of experimental biology. Scientists look closely at shark skin, which is made up of little teeth called denticles. Using a 3D printer, they recreated those features on artificial skin. Wiggling it in water, like a shark, showed denticles cut down water resistance, as well as the energy sharks use to move.